Let's do it. Jab, cross, step in, elbow. That's it. You got it. Let's get the show started. Okay. Let's do this. Looking good. Halfway there. Let's go. One, two, three. Almost finished. Maybe you can give me a few more reps at the end. Awesome. Keep your hands up high. Now give me a few more. See if you can push yourself. Okay, we're done. Good job. When we do this exercise again, we're going to go even faster, all right? You do not need any peripherals for this exercise. Follow along with the trainer. Time to stretch your hips. From standing position, take a step forward with your right leg and drop your opposite knee to the ground. Thigh is parallel to the ground. Point your left arm toward the ceiling. Rotate your torso and lean slightly back. Fuck. Hold. It's important to stretch after a workout. Release the stretch and return to standing position. Now switch feet and let's do this one on the other side. That's it. You want to lower your heart rate slowly. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. That's it. Slow and controlled breathing. It's important to stretch after a workout. That's it. You want to lower your heart rate slowly. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. See that? That's it. Slow and controlled breathing. We're almost done. Keep breathing. It's important to stretch and cool down after each workout. Time to stretch out your hips. Lie flat on your back, crossing one leg over the other with your foot resting on your knee. Pull the knee of your straight leg into your body, bringing the other leg up. And hold the stretch. It's important to stretch after a workout. <laughs> Return to resting and repeat with the opposite leg. That's it. You want to lower your heart rate slowly. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. That's it. Slow and controlled breathing. It's important to stretch after a workout. That's it. You want to lower your heart rate slowly. We're almost done. 
Keep breathing. It's important to stretch and cool down after each workout. Lie flat on your back with your legs straight out. Bring one leg up to 90 degrees and hold behind your knee as you attempt to straighten. Make sure to keep your other leg straight. Release the stretch and return your leg to starting position. Repeat with the other leg. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. That's it. Slow and controlled breathing. It's important to stretch after a workout. That's it. You want to lower your heart rate slowly. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. That's it. Slow and controlled breathing. It's important to stretch after a workout. We're almost done. Keep breathing. It's important to stretch and cool down after each workout. Let's stretch the shoulders. Stand straight with your feet shoulder width apart and your arms resting loosely at your sides. Reach one arm back opening up your chest, and then bring it across your body, holding it with the other arm at the elbow. That's it. You want to lower your heart rate slowly. Hold the stretch and return to the start position. Repeat with your other arm. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. That's it. Slow and controlled breathing. It's important to stretch after a workout. That's it. You want to lower your heart rate slowly. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. That's it. Slow and controlled breathing. It's important to stretch after a workout. Just a bit more. Great job. You should be feeling really good about that. Time to stretch the lower back. While seated on the ground, extend one leg straight out and cross the other leg over top. Rotate your torso across the bent knee and look back over your shoulder. Return to start position, switch legs, and then repeat the stretch. That's it. You want to lower your heart rate slowly. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. That's it. Slow and controlled breathing. It's important to stretch after a workout. That's it. You want to lower your heart rate slowly. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. That's it. Slow and controlled breathing. It's important to stretch after a workout. That's it. You want to lower your heart rate slowly. We're almost done. Keep breathing. It's important to stretch and cool down after each workout.
Can't find a workout that's ideal for you? Let's create one. You're so close. Make a choice and start working. Select the type of workout you'd like to complete. Choose the focus of your workout. You do not need any peripherals for this exercise. Follow along with the trainer. Time for a good hammy stretch. Stand up straight with your arms relaxed and feet shoulder width apart. Bring one leg up 90 degrees in front of your body and touch your toe with your opposite hand. Release your leg back to the ground and repeat with the other leg. We're priming the body for a great workout. That's it. Let's get the body warmed up. Bring your heart rate up slowly. That's it. Let's get the body warmed up. Good work. You're almost there. That should have gotten the blood flowing. Let's work on some balance. Stand up straight with your hands on your hips. Raise one leg up with your hip, knee, and foot flexed at 90 degrees. Hold the position, maintaining your balance. We're priming the body for a great workout. That's it. Let's get the body warmed up. Return your foot back to the ground and then repeat with the other leg. Bring your heart rate up slowly. That's it. Let's get the body warmed up. Good work. You're almost there. Your heart should be pumping now. Now let's work on the lower body with some squats. Stand with your feet pointing straight forward, hip to shoulder width apart. Keep your abs tight. Lower your hips down and back as if sitting in a chair. Your knees and upper body will naturally move forward. Keeping your heels on the ground, use your glutes to drive your hips and body back up to standing and repeat. We're priming the body for a great workout. That's it. Let's get the body warmed up. Bring your heart rate up slowly. That's it. Let's get the body warmed up. Good work. You're almost there. Your muscles should be ready for a great workout now. 
Get ready for some mountain climbers. Start at the top of a push-up with your body in a straight line. Keeping your abs tight, pick up your right foot and bring your knee toward your right shoulder. Pause, return to starting position, and repeat with your left leg. We're priming the body for a great workout. That's it. Let's get the body warmed up. Bring your heart rate up slowly. That's it. Let's get the body warmed up. Good work. You're almost there. Your heart should be pumping now. Let's do some arm circles. Stand straight with your feet shoulder width apart and your arms resting loosely at your sides. Raise both arms straight out to the sides so that your body forms a T. Slowly start making medium circular motions with both arms on either side rotating at the shoulder. Breathe in and out as you rotate your arms. Release your arms back to your sides. Now rotate your arms in the opposite direction. We're priming the body for a great workout. That's it. Let's get the body warmed up. Good work. You're almost there. That should have gotten the blood flowing. Stand in front of the connect with your body facing toward the sensor. Make sure your body appears green within the octagon. Now we're going to do a combination involving a jab, cross to lead elbow. Get into your fight stance with your hands up and your chin down. Step into your jab, pivot with the cross, step again with the lead foot and elbow. Jab, cross, elbow. Try a few reps. Do it, that's it, you got it. Let's get this show started. Okay. Let's go. Looking good. Pivot with the cross. We're halfway there. Nothing to it. Actually, turn your hip. Almost finished. Maybe you can give me a few more reps at the end. Good. Let's do a few extra reps. Come on. I know you can do it. Find that second win. That's it. Stop. Good. You've maintained your pace since our last session. Okay, we're going to include a teep into the combo. Get into your fight stance with your hands up and your chin down. Good. Step into your jab. Pivot with the cross. Bring your leg up, chambering, then kick. Jab, cross, kick. Try a few reps. This is how you do it. Jab. Step in, cross, pivot, extend, kick. Looks like you got it now. Time for the real deal. All right. Begin. Yeah. You sure not the back to support me. Looking good. Make sure you keep your support like step. Halfway there. Awesome. Be sure not to bend your support. Like Almost finished. Maybe you can give me a few more reps at the end. Okay, let me do a few reps. Jab. Cross. Big hit. Again. Now give me a few more. See if you can push yourself. Alright, stop. 
That looked great. Nice job. We're going to throw some elbows and knees now. You're going to get into your stance, hands up, chin down, and shoulders relaxed. Make some space with your hand. Trade positions in rear elbow. Switch feet and knee, then rear elbow. Rear elbow, knee, rear elbow. Give me a few in a row. Hold on, watch what I'm doing. Trade, okay, enough practice. Time for the real deal. All right. Let's do this. Keep it going. Pay close attention to your footwork. That's it. That's the halfway point. Pay close attention to your footwork and notice the transition moves. Back into it. Notice the transition. Almost finished. If you can give me a few more reps at the end. Great. Now give me a few more. See if you can push yourself. All the way to the end. strike combination. Oh yeah. Good. Get into your fight stance. Step into your jab, cross and pivot, stepping again, executing a lead elbow, rear elbow, then a switch knee. Jab, cross, front elbow, rear elbow, knee. Give me a few reps. Let me show you. One, two, three, four, and five. Looks like you got it. Now. It's time for the real deal. You ready? Begin. Keep it going. Hips. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Motherfucker. Oh, step forward and down. Showing if you can give me some extra reps. Hit it with the cross. Bring it. Ah, your eyes down the barrel. Bitch. Oh, Again. Give me a few more. See if you can push yourself. Yeah, push yourself. You do not need any peripherals for this exercise. Follow along with the trainer. Time to stretch out your hips. 
Lie flat on your back, crossing one leg over the other, with your foot <coughs> resting on your knee. <sighs> hold the knee of your straight leg into your body, bringing the other leg up, and hold the stretch. Feel that pull on the muscle. Return to resting and repeat with the opposite leg. That's it, slow and controlled breathing. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. Stretching out will reduce muscle soreness after that intense workout. Feel that pull on the muscle. That's it, slow and controlled breathing. We're almost done. Keep breathing. It's important to stretch and cool down after each workout. Time to stretch your hips. From standing position, take a step forward with your right leg and drop your opposite knee to the ground. Thigh is parallel to the ground. Point your left arm toward the ceiling. Rotate your torso and lean slightly back. Hold. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. Release the stretch and return to standing position. Now switch feet and let's do this one on the other side. Stretching out will reduce muscle soreness after that intense workout. Feel that pull on the muscle. That's it, slow and controlled breathing. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. Stretching out will reduce muscle soreness after that intense workout. Feel that pull on the muscle. That's it, slow and controlled breathing. Just a bit more. It's important to stretch and cool down after each workout. Time to stretch the lower back. While seated on the ground, extend one leg straight out and cross the other leg over top. Rotate your torso across the bent knee and look back over your shoulder. Return to start position, switch legs, and then repeat the stretch. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. Stretching out will reduce muscle soreness after that intense workout. Feel that pull on the muscle. That's it, slow and controlled breathing. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. Stretching out will reduce muscle soreness after that intense workout. Feel that pull on the muscle. That's it, slow and controlled breathing.
After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. We're almost done. Keep breathing. It's important to stretch and cool down after each workout. Lie flat on your back with your legs straight out. Bring one leg up to 90 degrees and hold behind your knee as you attempt to straighten. Make sure to keep your other leg straight. Release the stretch and return your leg to starting position. Repeat with the other leg. Stretching out will reduce muscle soreness after that intense workout. Feel that pull on the muscle. That's it. Slow and controlled breathing. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. Stretching out will reduce muscle soreness after that intense workout. Feel that pull on the muscle. That's it. Slow and controlled breathing. We're almost done. Keep breathing. That was great. Make sure to bring your heart rate down slowly. Let's stretch the shoulders. Stand straight with your feet shoulder width apart and your arms resting loosely at your sides. Reach one arm back, opening up your chest, and then bring it across your body, holding it with the other arm at the elbow. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. Hold the stretch and return to the start position. Repeat with your other arm. Stretching out will reduce muscle soreness after that intense workout. Feel that pull on the muscle. That's it. Slow and controlled breathing. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. Stretching out will reduce muscle soreness after that intense workout. Feel that pull on the muscle. That's it. Slow and controlled breathing. Just a bit more. It's important to stretch and cool down after each workout.